Hello my call files, it is your call lead here, see so got back with my video for each and every one of you. Today we're going to be starting a new series called The Great Expansion, where basically we're going to we're gonna have the world's the smallest map in Warbox, right here, the tiniest world you can, you can get in Warbox, and then we're going to grow it to the biggest size of world box is it's basically going to be you know just uh the world's going to get bigger every episode i'm going to have to keep remaking the world that's going to be a slight issue for me but yeah so we're going to start it uh this episode probably ain't going to be too long but still still going to be a nice cool episode nonetheless so yes so obviously i'm a type of person who likes the dwarves but uh, not today. I'm gonna just put some doors in the south, put some humans up here, put some elves over here. Uh, yeah, they are the elves. And hell, just put the orcs in the ocean, because no one likes the orcs. No one likes the orcs. It's good that they're in the game, but still, no one likes them. So, we're gonna start the world. This world is one year and nine months old, and there's zero death obviously because this world's brand new and there we go everyone's we got some we got the northern civilization down here hopefully they can expand a lot faster than the other nations that's a uh, I, th I thought that was a human nation for a minute but no this is the humans over the humans are over here I, this is because uh also by the way just a side note i didn't say this in the previous video i made but but they do have these little present things. Uh, they don't do anything. They're kind of just there. And uh, the, cre uh, the creatures have, you know, hats and stuff. Also, I am not putting on super fast speed. Super fast mode. Super fast speed. Because I actually want a recording for this video. So, yes. So, so this video is going to probably be going up on the day after New Year's Eve. Or New Year's. The January the 1st. I think January 1st or January 2nd probably hopefully it can go out on the 1st but yes happy new years hopefully 2021 it's a lot better than 2020 this is probably won't even be that hard to be honest because 2020 was a absolute garbage year for basically everyone besides like possibly like few people in the entire world history of the world for whatever reason but yeah the door the I was about to say dwarves, the orc finally and i mean finally made it to the main island because you know obviously we speed it up to three times speed just to give them a you know little bit of a video quicker and it looks like the dwarves i mean yeah the dwarves are being attacked by the orcs but looks like the orcs are about to get a bite no it's actually the other way around the the uh this dude basically okay yeah he basically basically is like has the hold of the entire dwarving you know species on his back besides these guys these guys if they wanted to could probably conquer them just to have the united empire Currently, the humans are basically dying. I'm pretty sure it was either they died or the orcs came down. It was like, hey, 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 this is a really nice town. Uh, it would be a shame if just something happened to it. I'd be, you know, probably not. They probably just died or I didn't spawn to over there. Uh, but it definitely looks like this is going to be the main human colony, the main human thing for this world. Uh, yes, also, this does not determine the entire species. Like, all the species will come. Don't worry. It let's say if the dwarves kill, manage to take over the entire world and they just manage to kill off the elves, the orcs, and the humans, that doesn't mean they're completely out of the game. For the first episode, I might do that in like the third or the fourth episode just to, I don't know, get rid of them or something. But no, that's not going to be the case. I, at least not for the beginning. So, yeah. The world is now six, seven years in this world. 
clearly. And they, I don't know how, but he just reproduced by himself. Not going to question it. Hopefully he did not touch one of these sheep in this territory. If you pick it up what I'm putting down, but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, it's a good thing that they're not fighting because, you know, they you, do, you don't want your civilization to be killed. You want somewhat of a victory here. Obvi uh, are those wolves? I did not spawn. On they naturally spawn now? Okay, that's cool. So, luckily, they're over here in the elves because elves don't attack animals. Attack them. Like if I put bears over here, they're basically you know, not going to do anything. Orcs still over here not really doing much besides, you know, feasting on the bones of them because that's what they like to do, I guess. The This main human compound area is definitely expanding faster and faster definitely seems like they're going to be the top dogs in this world and possibly you know conquer this other human settlement down because why not okay so times five speed just because you know why not like i like i predicted these guys were going to get wiped out it was literally like one dude and these guys possibly might also become the superior nation of the colony. Colony. And the other elf, not the other elf empire thing, colony kind of guy. I'm assuming by dwarves. Well, I'm just assuming because they were close. They were close together. And, you know, it just kind of makes sense. The orcs are five humans is the way it's looking. And I honestly think the orcs might win. Because like in the natural call them, these guys do more damage than the humans. They had very similar numbers and, and it did not look good for them. So as much as I would like to say the doors would win, I probably can like the orcs are going to win this uh, beginning of the beginning of the game. Just because of the sheer, you know, power they have and the numbers. They have a lot more numbers than a lot of the light, lot of the other species. Just because. Unless of these two, like, for some reason, combine or something. Like, along those lines. And, yep, they were definitely killed out by the orcs. Like, I thought they were, obviously. Or they just starved to death because they didn't have any farms. Because starve. Oh wait, no, they had a little bit of farm right there. They could have sustained two people off that one little grass, off that one little wheat little patch. These guys don't. They have, them, and they are constantly fighting. So yeah, they're getting absolute, wreck, absolute wrecked. But the orcs over here and are besides being completely being eaten by wolves, they're low key kind of just doing pretty good. Hopefully they can expand up northward, going up the north area. There's a bunch of trees and stuff. So if they could chop down those, build up a lot. They can do good, very good. They can do very good. Uh, so the elves up here are just mainly minding their business. They're basically, they're just chilling, you know. They're not doing anything exciting. They do have a good bit of population and, you know, yes, they're mainly just vibing they even have like tier two buildings so they're doing really good for themselves the dwarves down here are starting to build up better for themselves they're starting to get for themselves obviously they're starting to build roads which is a good sign because they're the humans are gone so there's no more road building for the rest of this episode because the orcs and elves make roads for some reason uh I don't understand why the orcs don't make roads. Probably because they're uncivilized creatures. But these guys got nature and shit. So they probably just don't want nature, I guess. But, you know, that's kind of irrelevant to the actual, like, world. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't tell if there's... Okay, those are bugs. I thought that was orcs, but... To go full some. Well, hell, the elves are are they fighting anyone? Hold up. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. 
No, they're not fighting anyone. I thought they were fighting. So why are they dying? They had like seven people. Yeah, obviously they're not fighting anyone. Once again, I think the orcs are going to win. This video has been pretty boring, so uh, I'm going to turn fast speed just because, you know, I feel like, you know, it's been mad boring, so let's just get it over with. I did not want to cut on super uh, fast speed for for the for the game, but look, oh wait, that was fast spawn, not supersonic speed. But here, I did not want to do this, but if I must, I shall. So this is episode one of the series. Uh, so I just wanted to say why we're here. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, like the like the video, subscribe to the video. Show me some love. You know, comment down below. Um, I don't know. Comment um, popcorn in in the in the bottom of the video. <laughs> popcorn in the uh, on the video. Uh, yeah. So, like I said, like I thought, these guys were gonna expand fast because they're gonna you know do whatever they do. It looks like they're going to the beach for some reason. I mean, they did come from the, you know, the ocean. So maybe they can be like children of Poseidon or something. I don't know. But yeah, definitely looks like they're not going to be winning against the, the dwarves are not going to be winning against the orcs, which once again, orcs are may. Okay, that's an ad. Okay, we're going to avoid that. Possibly even cut that out. Possibly, depending on. And it looks like they are at battle. This is the first war. This is the battle. Let's call this the battle of Chad. Yeah, the battle. The battle of Chadness. And looks like the uh, dwarves fended off the lands now. Definitely are gonna lose this battle because no way they're going against this. just by a numbers difference. Not even by like the AI. Did you know like okay look now the second battle of the war let's call this uh battle um pop tart the great battle of pop tart of the world the doors have defeated defeated once again defeated and weakened their numbers greatly looks like a another is going down here let's call this the the War of the Great Tree. I don't know why, but we're going to call it that. The War of the Great Tree is now... Looks like it's... Are they doing circles? They're doing like circles, kind of. Wow. Uh, we're not going to question that, though. Looks like the dwarves are doing very good. They are, they are losing. They even have their king, the king dwarf himself, fighting, fighting, fighting his lands. And things like I low key kind of want to end year 69 for no reason, but yeah, but yeah, yeah, definitely. But the dwarves have officially died because there's like one dwarf left, they're basically about to kill this dude when they find him. At least, watch, he doesn't even get killed. He gets killed. all right, my call followers. That was the end of this video. Uh, hopefully you guys like the new series and make sure you like subscribe to the channel the world box come soon and hopefully I can start making other content in the future but until then I, okay that would be outro um, I don't have any outros so I don't have, have anything, so like I don't know what but hey for anyone out there who has anything so for so I can get for my outro type it in the comments hey talk about it talk about it but until then I'll see you guys next time out